SiteLink has created an exciting new feature for the program which is browser based. You can go to this link which is myhub.sitelink.com. Again, that's my, my hub dot site link dot com you can save that link you can run it from a browser you can run it from a tablet and then you log in with your codes once you're logged in it has both a site level and a corporate control center level I'm going to log into the site level once in the site level we have different options the first section is the dashboard. There is a lot of graphical features. Many of these items are taken from the management summary report. This is going to be an ongoing process, an ongoing area that will have more and more features created over time. If I look at one of these numbers, for example, gross potential, well, there is a place here that has potential. I can click in the upper right hand corner. I click on the drop down and click on the report and it'll take me to the corresponding report that has those figures. I close it down. If we don't want to look at a particular section we can hide that panel and it takes it away. I can also move my display. If I want to have a certain graph that I want to focus on I click on it and move it and have the display and look and feel that I want to have. Within a graph I could hide the details or view the details in terms of the percentages. We can click in the upper right hand corner where we see an envelope sign and look at all the different bulletins that have come in. An example would be a payment that has been received from your website. When in the dashboard, I can click on the reminders in the upper right hand corner. If I have a reminder, it'll show me and I can click on it, look at it. I can change between my different sites. If I have more than one site, I can log out. And then the upper right hand corner, we have dashboard settings and profile settings. If we click on dashboard settings, if there is a certain graph that we do not want to see, we can uncheck it. We can also change the display order. If I want to change how it looks, I can click on them and I can also change the details. Do I want to look at the report monthly instead of daily? Do I want to look at yearly? Do I want to see the details, yes or no? When I'm finished, I save the changes. We then have a profile option where we can choose the specific language that we want to see the dashboard in. I could change in this case to Spanish or back to English or any of the other languages listed. The next screen is the walkthrough, which takes us to our walkthrough report that you used to be able and can still find at walkthrough.sitelink.com. This will show you all of your units that are in your walkthrough order. If you have a tablet, show that a unit is overlocked. When you put in notes into the system, it will display those notes in the unit notes screen. The next area is the eSign portal. It says the SiteLink eSign portal is a tool for facilities using SiteLink eSign that allows for tenants to sign their lease on a tablet. To log into the SiteLink eSign portal, please visit this link, eSignPortal.SiteLink.com on your tablet. To do that, you would type in eSignPortal.com into your browser and log into it. And anyone that you've moved in with eSign enabled will show in the screen for you to open up their lease and have them sign it with their hand on your tablet. For more details in terms of setting up eSign, you can go to sitelink.com forward slash eSign and click on the Get Started Today, and there are very detailed instructions with videos on how to fully enable and use SiteLink eSign. The next button is the settings which we could view again by clicking in the upper right hand corner dashboard settings screen. 